became a social economic crisis has affected our lives greatly. It is encouraging that many Kenyans show their generosity, their caring and solidarity spirit with each other during this difficult time. This is the true Kenyan exceptionalism. It is our strength in diversity. While Kenyans have embraced the spirit of tolerance and caring, uh, unfortunately, our politics remains polarized, diverse and inhumane. Our democracy, human rights, and the rule of law are under enormous duress. Right in front of our eyes, we are seeing democracy backsliding and creeping back to a one-man rule authoritarianism. Our laws and institutions have been dangerously captured, including our media, weaponized and manipulated to serve very narrow personal, political, and economic interests. This is deeply troubling. The events that happened in the National Assembly were terrifying. It signals not just democracy and aggression, but more importantly, the return of the rule by fiat. Unlike the broad in the Jordanian parliament over women's rights, ours was to preserve the political class status quo. President and ODM leader Raila Amolo Dinga must not be allowed to bully and terrorize Kenyans in their quest to maintain the status quo. Our country will only make sustainable human progress when the rule of law become our North Star. The rule of law and economic development are strongly interrelated and mutually reinforcing. The rule of law is essential for sustained and inclusive economic growth, sustainable development, the eradication of poverty and hunger, and the full realization of all human rights and fundamental freedoms. The rule of law is an outcome of fair, inclusive, and equitable, and equitable development. If one lives in this country, one is aware of the collapsing economy. The length and breadth of this nation is going through immeasurable economic pain. The country is in a very deep economic, is in very deep economic morass, debt distress, and leadership incompetence. This is not a time for pure rhetoric and empty promises. It is about pragmatism and real solutions. We are tired of the same old stories from the same old politicians. Stories, stories, stories. It is now time for a call to act. We must remember that at Kenyans, we are a nation of firsts. We have previously overcome some of the worst situations and have come out stronger. In Africa, we are the first to resist British colonial rule. The first to pass in peacetime and implement one of the best constitutions in the world the first to nullify a presidential election, first in innovations such as M-Pesa, a country of world record holders from Kipchoge Keino to Eliud Kipchoge, first African woman to win a Nobel Peace Prize, the late Wangare Madai, and Peter Tambichi, an exceptional teacher that won the Global Teachers Award in 2019 and so many other firsts unique to us. That is who we are. We must rekindle the feel-good spirit we once had just a few years ago, pride we had in our country and in our government. The 2022 elections offer a new hope, a new chapter to begin our next days as Kenya our third liberation, our economic liberation that is anchored in Article 43 of our 2010 Constitution. It is hard to look at Kenya today and see or feel the greatness that is in Kenya and her people, but there are so many more good and better days for us ahead. 
Mine is to encourage during the coming months leading up to August 22 election to interrogate and elect servant leaders that are economic liberators. For our children and our children's children, we must demand better from our elected and public officials. We need to focus on social mobility as well as ensure future generations can compete and thrive at a global level. We think globally and act locally. There is an untold story about us, one that guarantees every person the right to health care, including reproductive health care, access to adequate housing, reasonable standards of sanitation, a Kenya free from hunger, with access to adequate food of acceptable quality, access to clean and safe water in adequate quantities, and to social security and quality education. Imagine 60 years after independence, these basics have been a challenge. That is my promise to you when I become the President of the Republic of Kenya. It is time to act. God bless the Republic of Kenya. Asante sana kwa kutazama wa Source TV. Huyo amekuwa ni Jimmy Wanjigi akizungumzia tu mambo ambayo yanafanyika nchini Kenya. So, kama uja subscribe kwenye wa Source TV na kuomba uweze kusubscribe. Kama uko na maoni niachie hapo kwenye comment section au sio. So, mimi nakutakia kila laheri kwa jambo lolote ambalo unafanya. Wale wote ambao wamesubscribe kwenye wa Source TV